Hey everybody, what's up? So I'm going to run through this app protocol or this app finisher protocol really quick for you. I hope you got a ton out of the two videos above this one. If you didn't watch those, go watch them because a bunch of great free content that's going to make you understand hormones, blood flow, and how it relates to your ability to target stubborn belly and hip fat. So in this video, it's all about the app finisher protocol. Now, the app finisher protocol is set up just like the MRT protocol, except you're hitting all regions of your abs. So you'll notice down here, we're going to do an upper and oblique movement, we're going to do a lower movement, and then we're going to do a core movement. And what we're going to do is we're going to perform these three exercises back to back for time. So we're going to do each of them for 30 seconds each, just like the afterburn accelerator video that I showed you a couple days ago on the blog with no rest between. So the difference is, is in the MRT or the afterburn accelerator protocol, you did 30 seconds of the exercise with 30 seconds rest and then 30 seconds of the next exercise and so forth. Well, with this one, you're doing all three exercises back to back to back. So after you complete all three of them back to back to back with no rest, rest 60 seconds, and then you're going to repeat that round again for a total of three times around, which equals nine sets total. And then you're going to end the workout. Now, again, if you want to target the free fatty acids that are floating around your bloodstream from the MRT or the high intensity burst that you've done, and you create blood flow by doing this ab finisher, you want to do a steady state cardio session after you're finished with this. So real quick, let's show you how it works here. This is me finishing the dang thing. I was dying. So I'm going to start out with a lower ab movement, and I'm going to start out by doing a reverse crunch. You know, it was kind of funny. I was getting this ready and I was kind of cracking up laughing because if you listen, it's uh, Rick James Super Freak playing in the background. I got a kick out of that because back in the day that was like one of the great dance songs when I used to bar hop. <laughs> anyway, so I'm doing the lower abs here. I'm doing a hip up. Turn this down. And I'm trying to pause at the top Okay, and really isolate the lower abs. And this is a lot harder than you think. My, notice my hands stay flat on the ground like that. So I do 30 seconds worth, immediately get up, run over to a hanging leg raise, which is now I'm going from my lower abs to my obliques and my upper abs simultaneously. So by doing this leg raise, this requires a lot of strength. So if you don't have a lot of strength or experience lifting, just use the Roman chair or mimic this type of movement on the ground, okay? So you'll notice that none of these movements I'm crunching, I'm bringing the legs to me. I'm not flexing the back. I'm bringing them to me. So after 30 seconds of that, no rest, I immediately go right into a plank for 30 seconds. Now, if you're experienced with planks, you might think that 30 seconds isn't that long. But when you do a lower ab movement and an oblique and an upper ab movement previous to that with no rest, 30 seconds is a killer. And you can hear me grunting towards the end of this because it just gets dying because I did the first two exercises and pre-fatigue the other areas of my stomach. So after I do this for 30 seconds, I'm immediately going to rest for 60 seconds and I'm going to repeat that round one more time, rest for 30 seconds and repeat that round one more time again for a total of three rounds for nine sets total. So there you have it. There's the app finisher protocol. Now, one last reminder, and you know, guys, I'm not trying to hard sell you on this or anything like that, but this training package that I put together for the four cycle solution, whether you have the world renowned macro patterning meal plans or you don't, just following this training manual and these workouts, these workout log sheets and over the 50, the 50 plus videos that I filmed, you're going to be able to put all three of these video, or all three of these workout types that I showed you over the last week in the on the blog, in a strategic sequence. So you'll be able to take my growth hormone multiplier workout. You'll be able to take my afterburn accelerators or my MRT workouts, and a third type, which is called the hundred fat loss factor that I didn't show you. It's a volume depletion type of workout. And you start using them with these workout finishers and these ab finishers, and you put them in this sequence you really can make some amazing changes to your body. So uh, that, again, is half off only till midnight tonight. Then the price is going to go up. So if you're interested at all, I just urge you to take action now. And if not, hey, that's cool too. I just hope you got a lot out of these blog posts, and I hope that you go use this stuff. That's the most important stuff. Knowledge is only power when it's applied. So get to work on this stuff, and thanks for listening.